Hello, this is Trey Hamblett with Industrial Info. I'm responsible for our chemicals research uh, globally as we track the industrial spending for the chemical processing industry. And today we're going to talk just a few minutes about a very significant round of methanol spending that's taking place here in the United States as well as some proposed spending beyond that. In the next three slides, I'll share quite a few numbers with you, and I'll just kind of lay the foundation for the fact that all of the numbers that I'll be sharing with you are made up of individual projects that we're tracking the very tangible details for in each case, and these slides represent a summary of all of that individual project data. So the first view is a comparison of what's currently approved and in the construction phase as it relates to methanol capacity here in the United States, as well as to the right in the kind of orangish color, the amount of additional proposed capacity uh, anticipated in future years. There are over 5.6 million uh, tons per year of capacity currently in the construction phase, or that has been approved and will start construction very soon. And as the green line ends there towards the mid part of 2018, that's the uh, expected completion time frame when that new capacity would be online in its entirety. And then uh, as you can see on the right hand side there's just short of another 30 million tons per year of additional capacity being proposed. And if we got all of that capacity what the total uh, installed base would be overall for the uh, segment uh, in terms of overall methanol production. The, the drivers behind this are, are many, and I think that's why this makes this particular segment of the chemical industry uh, potentially one of the next big spending segments over the next uh, three to, to five years. There's a very significant use of methanol here in um, our own chemical synthesis or manufacturing industry. There's a lot of use of methanol to make formaldehyde and a lot of other key ingredients amongst the chemical industry. In addition to that, there's a very, very uh, significant thirst for methanol in the international market, specifically China in this case. And of the methanol capacity being proposed as well as constructed here in the United States, uh, four to five of those very largest investments are actually funded by Chinese developers and Chinese dollars where that methanol capacity is being built with the entire purpose of being exported out of the United States and over to China to add optionality to their feed slate of uh, olefins where they're currently predominantly using coal uh, in a coal to chemicals scheme or naphtha in a traditional cracking uh, technology. Methanol holds a very uh, low input cost alternative to some of those other technologies and there's a very uh, significant demand for it. In addition to that, there's several other very significant uh, uses of methanol outside of the U.S. And, and Asia and Europe in particular, there's a significant amount of uh, methanol that's blended into the gasoline, similar to how here in the United States we blend ethanol. There are uh, parts of Europe and Asia where 15 percent of their transportation fuel is made up of methanol and there are programs in place to blend as much as 85 percent of methanol into the transportation fuel. So there's a very significant uh, potential demand for additional methanol for that purpose as well. And then uh, there's a very easy and inexpensive conversion of methanol into a DME, a, a biodiesel product, and then there's a very significant um, potential use for methanol as a fuel in the marine industry. I mentioned early on that you know, all of the figures I would show you today are made up of the individual projects that we track. This is just a short list of some of the most significant projects proposed here in the U.S. Um, you know, showing the first two that are actually in the construction phase already. A couple of projects that are uh, in the engineering phase have been funded and look very, very likely to get underway this year, uh, representing another nearly three billion or three million tons per year of product. And then, uh, and then at the bottom half of this is a very long list of additional methanol projects that are being proposed and it's, it's early to say which of these will move forward and which won't, but they're, they're projects that uh, month to month we stay in touch with and uh, try to identify which will uh, take place and which won't. Which brings me to my, my closing slide and uh, what I've done is I've amended 
the slide where I was showing you all the future capacity to a number in green here with the line that we think is more likely has a higher probability of taking place. It's very traditional that of everything that gets proposed, you only see a, a small percentage of that actually move forward. And even with the green line uh, readjusting the total install capacity out past 2020 uh, to somewhere in the mid 20 million uh, tons per year, uh, that may even still be a little bit optimistic. But either way, uh, it shows that we, we're in, we're anticipating a very significant uptick in um, in supply and what gets built between now and uh, 2020, and then uh, potentially you know, flattening or slightly continuing to elevate beyond that. There are some constraints, as there are with any industry segment. Uh, currently, the cost per gallon of methanol has uh, come down quite substantially, as many commodities have in recent months. Uh, this could be considered a constraint in some cases because it obviously decreases margins, but it could be considered a, an advantage to those that are consuming it. Um, there's been a slowdown in China, and uh, they, as I mentioned earlier, are a very significant proponent behind a great deal of the new capacity being proposed. And um, so we'll, we'll see how that impacts some of the capacity they're proposing here in the U.S. over the probably the next 12 to 18 months. And then um, the U.S. as a producer very likely will become a net exporter of methanol in the next few months to a year, and this could change um, our position because our products will have to not only be economical for our own domestic con consumption, but we'll have to start competing on a on a global scale uh, against other regions of the world. And uh, because we haven't been a net exporter in the past, there's a little bit of an unknown there as to how we can compete on that stage. So I hope you found that informative and useful on our uh, short outtake on uh, where the methanol market might be going and future spending projects. If you have other questions or you'd like to discuss any of these individual projects or trends or even other commodities in more detail, we'd love to hear from you at the email shown here 